Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swiss Show Market Review of the QQQs. Thought I would do this today, Monday, November 24th. Uh, I think it's really important to look at the market every day if you are in the market, if you're a day trader like me, or if you're an overnight trader, a swing trader. It's so good to look at the market each day, see what it's doing. And I decided not to trade this week because it's a holiday week, and I thought there would be very low volume in the market, if any, and not that many gaps to do, which is what I focus on. But I did get up this morning and want to look at the market because of the way that we closed on Friday. Now, let's review Friday. Friday we came in, and I know people shorted this market Friday because I can see the red in the bar. Some people did some profit taking, which is why you have the red. And then there's people that are desperate, dying, can't wait to short this market. And it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. But people that miss this bullish move and uh, who are really want some kind of volatility momentum are trying to grab it by doing shorts in the market. And so people shorted this market here on Friday. But the correct way to play momentum is to go with where the money's flowing. And the money isn't flowing in any regard to the downside. So therefore, it makes no sense to short. So what people are doing is trying to guess the top here in the market. They've been trying to guess it for months. Ever since the summer, people have been trying to guess the top in the market. People thought this was the top, and they thought this was the top, and they thought this was the top. An extended gap up that people were calling was novice as an exhaustion bar. I don't even know what people were saying. Anyways, none of that turned out to be correct. What did turn out to be correct is markets continued higher, exactly like I said, in the exact form and fashion that I said. And when I sent the email out to everybody in the room yesterday, I warned everyone in the room that if you trade this week alone without me, keep in mind that the market is bullish, 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 bullish. So the market's bullish. <laughs> it's gapping up this morning. This morning over 104. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. My call on this market has been fantastic. And I did say last week in a video, this is going to be one of the best calls I've ever, ever made so far to date in the lifetime of the time that I've traded. Because everyone keeps saying the market's going to crash. I saw something else on the internet over the weekend. Some huge, big video by somebody, somebody, somebody saying the market's going to crash. It's not, ha it's not going to happen. It is not even remotely going to happen. When I was teaching the class this weekend, too, I realized this, and I said this to the people in the class, like, think about this. I love to short, okay? That's what I do all the time. Now, every once in a while, I go long. But I love to short, and I'm really good at going short. I'm the best that there is at going short. And I'm teaching people how to do that, too. Now, a lot of traders don't like to go short. They like to go long. Some people that trade do go short, but that's all that I do. Okay, so I'm good at going short because I can spot weakness. I really know what weakness looks like. Okay, that's how I'm good at determining when something's going to fall in the day and I get the stock right into the open, right into the open of the stock of the day to grab it at the best price possible before it drops. I'm able to predict what something's going to do in a stock to short it before it goes for the momentum move. And it's because I know how to spot weakness. Now, if I saw weakness in the market, if I'm a person that can read weakness very well, which I am, then I would be sane if I saw weakness in the market. So what's really interesting, this is what I said in the class. Now think about this. If you, if you understood what I do, whether you took my class or not, or watched 100 of the 600 videos I have online, you know that I love to short, okay? Now, if a lady that loves to short is calling this market higher and saying that it's not weak, what would you think, okay? So, I mean, it's just like, you know, if I'm the person that knows how to spot weakness, the person that's an expert in spotting weakness, and I'm saying that there's not weakness here, true weakness to short into, and in fact, I'm saying the exact opposite, that the market is higher, what if you put two and two together, what conclusion would you come up with? Hmm, the market's higher. But, you know, it's how I'm reading it here that I know that in the gaps. That's how I know the market's higher. It's power money that's coming in here. Buying this market, I mean, just fantastic. And I said 
210, 212 in the SPY before the end of the year, 110 in the QQQs before the end of the year, almost popped over 105 on Friday in the gap up. In fact, pre-market Friday, we might have done that. Let me just look. No, we didn't, but we got close. Anyways, uh, today is Monday. We're gonna we're gonna be bullish on a holiday week here, with not that much volume, I don't think. But the numbers that I said are gonna happen before the end of this year for the QQQs, and they could change. It could be even higher. But people are not gonna stop shorting this market. This market will make another new high here after the red bar from Friday that people shorted, and then they'll get popped out of this. Once we get over 105, we'll have a clear path, I think, I'm seeing to 108. 108 is the number that is, once we get over 108, we'll really lift the QQQs up to the new high. And I just don't know how fast it happens. So what I'm seeing here, and I said this in the other videos, I'm just going to say it again, is that the market is bullish and it's higher and 2015 is setting up to be an extremely, extremely bullish year and could be could be actually one of the most bullish years this market's ever had. I, it just I, I'm actually seeing this now. This the 2000 and 2015 could turn out to be one of the most bullish years the stock market has ever had in its lifetime. In fact, that's I think that's how it's gonna play out. I just realize that now. And what I'm saying is the exact opposite of what everyone's saying out there. But everything that I've said is going to happen so far has turned out to be correct. Including the swing trade letter call I gave back here when I decided to do it. To buy the market here. Which did go already to the targets. <clears throat> so I think that it is very important to understand why you're taking a trade. You cannot guess. When I say something's going to happen, I'm not guessing. I'm predicting by reading the price action. That was another thing when I was teaching the class over the weekend. I was trying to explain something that was in a flat PowerPoint that wasn't moving because the market's not open on the weekend. I was trying to explain how something acts in a swoosh. And I was trying to explain it in the class using my words to explain what this looks like when it moves. And that's what I see when I'm reading price and I'm seeing that something's doing something. I'm reading how it's acting when it's alive, which, which it's not alive in the weekends. But even here, this market, like I'm watching this every day when I trade because I'm in the market every day. Now I'm off this week. But, you know, I'll probably look at the market every day this week just to see how it acts. But when I was watching all of the trading in here, all every day, when I would be watching the market, that's how I can tell. I can tell when something's lifting, okay, or I can tell when something's falling. And that's how I can tell. I can tell when something's getting bought or I can tell when something is getting sold off. This is not institutional selling that came into the market on Friday. It's not, okay. It is some people trying to short this market and taking some profits out. A trader is making an attempt to short it. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere. And that was the other thing I said, too, to the people in the room. I said, if you see any red in the market this week, it's a mini. It's a mini red. It's a, if we even pull in at all, which I'm not even saying we're going to do. I'm not even saying we're going to do that at all right here. But if you even see a pull in at all or any red, it's a mini. It's a mini, a mini pull in because we're not going anywhere right here. The proper way to read directional bias in trends and stocks is gaps. And I'm very good at reading gaps. And I'm reading the price action when I look at the gap. And then I look at all the 26 points, which I, which I rate something just like I do with the stocks I trade or, and what I teach people in the class. And you could do that with the market. So 
So this is, once again, just confirmation here to see the market gapping up this morning after the red bar from Friday, after people tried to short this and made an attempt to do so, and probably spent the weekend excited thinking that the market was going to come in hard to some crazy number, but it's not going to do it. This market is strong. It is going to continue to be strong. All the stuff that's on the internet that people are watching or reading or seeing, they're, they're just guessing when they're saying the market's going to crash. This market doesn't ever have to crash, by the way. It doesn't ever have to do anything bearish ever again if it doesn't want to. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm saying right here, for 2014, the market's going to close into the end of this year strong and into 2015, make a leap that is going to be probably one of the biggest moves the market has ever made since its very existence, since the start of the U.S. stock market. And I just really actually saw that today. But I did see that 2015 was going to be a big, 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 big bullish year, far surpassed what anyone thinks. And part of what's going to create that to happen is because people were still not give up on shorting this. And every time people short something, they have to have an area where they're going to take it out. And when you exit a short position that presents covering, which creates green, which lifts, then the people that cover the short position through the price. And then you have the buying that's lifting the market anyways. Uh, the smart money, you want to call it. Power money is what I call it. That's buying into the market and lifting. And that's why this is not institutional selling because more power money came into the market here. This was new buying that lifted this market in this area right in October. And they are in for the long haul. They are not in for a day or a week or three weeks. And they're not going to get out. They're in for the long haul. And the reasons why, what, it doesn't even matter. You don't even need to know that. If you know how to read gaps the way that I do, you know how to read price action, which I do. I just read it on the live day, and I determine what it's going to do. The fact that I can see what somebody's going to do so far in advance is experience and just understanding how money moves, I guess. It's just how I understand how money flows. I understand the flow of money in the market. And that's what allows me to see things far, far in advance, like like I'm seeing for 2015. And like I even saw for these targets here, for this market to hit this in this calendar year, these, some of these numbers. Because these numbers really haven't been around for that long. So, you know, for everyone that missed the bullish move, you didn't really miss it. The market's going to run. So you got two options here if you want to be right. Do nothing because you feel like you didn't get the perfect long entry price. Or go long and just take a bigger stop. It's still going to be a huge risk reward trade to go long this market because of the move it's going to make. If you're waiting to buy in a pullback, it's probably not going to set up right now. That's not to say the market won't pull back before it goes higher again at some point. But I don't see that happening here right this second today or tomorrow. And people love to buy pullbacks, but I don't really think that's the correct way to buy anything. Actually, I know that it's not. Uh, so, you know, people are waiting for that. They're going to probably attempt to short because they missed the buy, wait for the pullback, it doesn't come, flip-flop back and forth between going long and short. People are so confused about what to do with this market, except for me. I am just every day get up and I say 100% conviction. No chance of failure. It just continues to fortify my conviction. The, the last month, two months, the way that I've called this market, really the last year or more, but really the last month that I've called this market has fortified and strengthened my own personal conviction in gaps, in what I know in golden gaps and rating gaps and my own read of gaps in a way that I can't even put into words. I cannot even verbalize how much this has strengthened my own conviction for my own personal level of what I'm going to do with my career and my life here because this was an outstanding call. It's nowhere near over. It's going to continue. The market is higher. The market is not going to crash in 2014. And I don't even see that happening in 2015. And it's just going to hit a crazy number next year too. So people that are thinking that they missed the long, they have not missed it. This isn't the perfect entry price, but it's still very good to get a move. What's going to happen is that people are going to have sold out of stuff that even think the market's higher, wish that they wouldn't have, end up getting back in. This is all going to transpire then in 2015. And all of that, there's going to be so many things that move the market higher next year. Buying that's going to come into the market, which is I see setting up right now, that's going to continue to come in. 
Shorts getting stopped out because people keep wanting to guess a top in the market and think it's extended, which is no strategy to play into. That will lift the market higher. People that sold out of stock positions anytime between now and the first quarter of 2015 are at some point in 2015 going to be convinced to buy back in, realizing that they should never have sold out of their thing that they were in in the first place, whatever company it was, the market, whatever. Buy back in that, that buying, which it will be retail buying, not institutional buying, will lift the market higher. For all that, there's going to be so many things setting up. That's what's going to make it go to this crazy, crazy number I'm talking about. It's almost like everything. Everything is actually, you know, listen to this. Everything is setting up so clearly for the market to run crazily higher that it makes it so, it's so ridiculous that anyone is saying that it's going to crash. Everything is setting up for the market to run, 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 run. And there are so many people that are out there that saying the market's going to crash, which to me is absolutely insane. Because there are so many things setting up for the market to run. And remember what I said a little bit ago, I know how to read weakness. And I also know how to read strength. And I'm really good at reading price. However, I am an expert in reading weakness in charts. And if I short every day, and I know what weakness looks like, and I'm not, I'm saying there is no weakness in this market that's not going to come in and crash. Okay. So think about that. So eight o'clock Monday morning, have a great week, everyone. I don't know if I'll do any more videos this week or not. I want to relax and enjoy the holiday and my week off. Have a great day. Happy holidays. If I don't do any other videos, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I might do some more videos, but no guarantees here. Have a great week. And if you're interested in more information on the next Golden Gap class, I'm doing one more this year, December 13th and 14th. If you want to learn how to trade for 2015, that's going to be a very good class. Saturday and Sunday, December 13th and 14th. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a fantastic week, everyone. And... Happy Thanksgiving.